Hi guys! Continue tayo sa ating lesson. Ngayon is grade 6 math naman tayo. Quarter 4, module 5. So, nasa module 5 na tayo sa grade 6 math. Ang module 5 natin is probability, listings, and tree diagrams. Ano yung probability? Probability is the chance that something will happen. It can be written as a fraction, decimal, or percent. So, gaya nung pinag, uh, nakaraang lesson natin sa grade 6 math na pwede mo siyang ilagay ng 75% or 1 fourth or 0 0.25. So, ganun ang uh, probability. It can be written as a fraction, decimal, or percent. When dealing with probability, um, it is important to be able to identify all the possible outcomes. So, ano yung outcome? Ang outcome is a possible result of some events occurring. So, yun ang tinatawag nating outcome, yung mga possible result. For example, kapag nag-flip ka ng coin, ang dalawa lang yung possible outcome niya. It is head or tail. So, yun ang tinatawag nating outcome. And then, favorable outcomes is the outcome that you are looking for in an experiment. To calculate probability, we need to know all the different things that can happen. So, kailangan alam natin, alamin natin kung ano kaya yung mangyayari or ano kaya yung possible result. So, paano natin yun siya gagawin? It can be done using methods of listing and tree diagrams. So, dito napapasok yung method natin na listing and tree diagrams. Ano naman yung listing at tree diagrams? So, listing method is a method to list all the elements in the set, separating each element by a comma. So, ang listing method is ilista mo lahat ng mga elements in a set. So, pagkatapos separate mo siya gamit ang comma. So, yun ang tinatawag nating listing method. Along with our discussion, malalaman natin kung paano ba yun siya gagawin. And then, tree diagram is a visual way of showing options and variables. The lines of the tree diagram look like branches on the tree. So, tinatawag siyang tree diagram kasi ang diagram mo is para siyang tree. Meron siyang mga branches-branches. Paano nga tayo mag-identify ng probabilities? Meron tayong dalawang method. First is listing method and second is the tree diagram. So, uunahin natin itong listing method. Sa listing method, you need to write all possible outcomes and favorable outcomes of the given situation. Meron tayong example dito. Bitoy goes to Bidai's snack house with his friends. What are the combination of kakanin and beverage and beverage he can order? So, si Bitoy daw nagpunta sa Bidai's snack house. Pagkatapos, meron silang um, kakanin. So, meron tayo ditong table. Ito yung menu ni Bidai's snack house. So, ang kakanin niya is meron siyang puto at suman. Ang beverage naman is meron siyang coffee. So, ngayon, para ma-identify natin ang possible at favorable outcomes, i-pair mo itong first kakanin mo sa yung beverage. And then, pagkatapos, itong second naman is i-pair mo siya sa yung beverage. Okay, so paano yun siya gagawin? Si puto, i-pair mo siya kay coffee. So, meron ka ng pair na puto at coffee. Pagkatapos, si suman naman, i-pair mo kay coffee. So, meron ka na ding pair na suman at coffee. Ngayon, is isulat mo siya sa table. So, ganito ang pagkasulat mo sa yung table. Ito yung tinatawag nating listing method. I-list natin siya or ilista natin siya. Ito yung ating possible outcomes at ito yung ating favorable outcomes. So, sa possible outcomes natin is meron tayong puto at coffee. And suman at coffee. Sa favorable outcomes naman, same lang sa possible outcomes. So, puto at coffee and suman at coffee. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang dalawang possible outcomes at meron din siyang dalawang favorable outcomes. Therefore, there are two possible outcomes and two favorable outcomes in the given situation. These are puto and coffee and suman and coffee. So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina sa ating listing method na ilist natin siya pagkatapos gagamitan natin ng kama para ma-separate sila. So, puto and coffee and suman and coffee. Base sa ating example number 1, punta tayo sa ating example number 2. What if kung dadagdagan natin ang ating beverage ng isa? So, ito yung ating example number 2. Meron na tayong dalawang beverage dito. Ang kakanin natin, same lang, puto at suman. Ang beverage natin is coffee, dinagdagan natin siya ng buko juice. Ngayon, ano yung mga possible outcomes niya at ano yung favorable outcomes niya? I-try natin siya. So, puto, i-pair natin kay coffee. So, meron na tayong puto at coffee. And then, pagkatapos si puto, i-pair naman natin kay bu buko juice. So, puto at buko juice. Meron na tayong dalawa. And then, si suman, i-pair naman natin kay coffee. So, suman at coffee, pangatlo. Suman at bu buko juice, pang-apat. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong... Or ilagay muna natin siya sa ating listing method. Ayan. So, ang possible outcomes at favorable outcomes. Ang possible outcomes natin is apat. 
Puto and coffee, puto and buko juice, suman and coffee, and suman and buko juice. Sa favorable outcomes naman, same lang sa possible outcomes. Puto and coffee, puto and buko juice, suman and coffee, and suman and buko juice. Therefore, there are four possible outcomes and four favorable outcomes in the given situation. These are puto and coffee, puto and buko juice, suman and coffee, and suman and buko juice. Dahil tapos na tayo sa listing method, ngayon naman punta tayo sa tree diagrams. So, strategy number two natin is gamit ang tree diagram. Meron tayong example, Kathy works in a factory. She receives a red t-shirt, a blue t-shirt, a black pants, and a brown pants as her uniform. Ayan, nawala si R. As her uniform. How many combination of uniform does Kathy has? So ngayon is gagamitan na natin siya ng tree diagram. Si Kathy is nagtatrabaho sa factory. So nakatanggap siya ng uniform na red t-shirt, blue t-shirt, black pants, at brown pants. Ngayon, ang question natin is, ilan kayang combination ng uniform ni Kathy ang magagawa niya? Okay, so ipagpalagay natin na ito yung kanyang uniform. So ang uniform natin is maglagay tayo ng branch papunta sa dalawang kulay ng t-shirt. So branch dito kay red t-shirt at isang branch kay blue t-shirt. Ngayon naman, sa kay red t-shirt is magbranch din tayo ng dalawa para sa dalawang kulay na pants. So dito is ang kulay na black pants and magbranch din tayo dito sa kulay na brown pants. Kay blue t-shirt naman, magbranch din tayo ng dalawa. Para kay black pants at kay brown pants. Ngayon is i-pair na natin siya. So, ilang kayang uniform meron si Kathy? Or ilang pair kaya ng, or ilang combination rather na uniform meron si Kathy? So, dito meron tayong red t-shirt at black pants. So, that is red t-shirt and black pants. Sa red t-shirt, another red t-shirt and brown pants. So, red t-shirt and brown pants. Sa blue naman, blue t-shirt and brown pants. So, blue t-shirt and black pants. Bakit brown, black? Black pants. So, blue t-shirt and black pants. Sa brown naman, so blue t-shirt and brown pants. That is blue t-shirt and brown pants. So, ilang combination meron tayo? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ibig sabihin meron tayong apat ng combination ng uniform ni Kathy. So, isulat natin siya sa table para mas maintindihan natin siya. Ito yung ating mga possible outcomes at favorable outcomes. So, sa possible outcomes, meron tayong red t-shirt and black pants, red t-shirt and brown pants, blue t-shirt and black pants, and blue t-shirt and brown pants. Sa favorable outcomes naman, same lang. So, ngayon, ang sagot natin, therefore, there are four possible outcomes and four favorable outcomes in the given situation. These are red t-shirt and black pants. Red t-shirt and brown pants, blue t-shirt and black pants, and blue t-shirt and brown pants. Therefore, Kathy has four combination of her uniform. So, ibig sabihin si Kathy merong apat na combination sa kanyang uniform. Ganyan lang kadali magawa ng listing and tree diagram. So, i-follow nyo lang yung ating mga examples at meron na kayong sagot. See you on our next lesson. Bye!